Before his retirement in 2012, St. John's University had one of the most successful college football coaches in history. And joining us this afternoon is former Johnny player, Boz Bostrom, to tell us about the book on his former coach, John Gallardi. Thanks for coming in. Thanks so much for having me in today. It's great. So, uh, when just reading the foreword done by Lou Holtz mm -hmm. for this book and all of the compliments he paid to your former coach. Mm -hmm. What does that say just about kind of his impact, not only on the Minnesota football community, but the entire football community across the country? He is just revered by the football community and especially coaches nationwide. Uh, a lot of for his success on the football field and all of his wins and championships, but those of us who know him know it's more the impact he had on us as people and developing us as men of character. And you were actually one of his players in the early 90s, I, so you have a special insight to him, not mm -hmm. only as a coach, but as a person. And is mm -hmm. some of that revealed then in this book? It's a very personal type of book. It's not a straight biography, but it's more about a time that I spent with him during his final off season that then went into his final season when he was 86 years old. Yes, I played for him. I know him as a, as a fellow colleague. He and I even co-teach a class together, one of the most popular classes on campus, leadership lessons. He still is teaching. He is still teaching. This will be number six, year number 63 of teaching. So we are actually going to have class on his 90th birthday, wow. November 1st. That's crazy when you think about that and when you just look at how much of a winner he was but the way he conducted practice no tackling mm -hmm. uh, no pads very different than what we see uh, than the way a lot of coaches run their programs. Yeah, a lot of co a lot of programs are very physical, but John, it was over 50 years ago, prohibited tackling in practice, and as a result, he really saved his players' health. It's interesting, the Ivy League just went to that this year, no tackling in practice, so we like to say that John was 50 years ahead of the Ivies. And it was obviously was successful for him because he became one of the most winningest coaches in history. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe that he broke the record for career coaching wins with his 409th victory. So it was successful for him. Yeah, extremely successful. He won over 75% of his games. Like you said, he broke the, broke the record. And that's just not for small colleges. That's for any colleges uh, ever, including the big colleges as well. So he broke it in 2003 when he won his fourth national championship. And then he coached for another um, uh, nine years until 2012 and ended up with 489 wins. Well, we have the big Tommy Johnny game this weekend. So how do you think he left his mark on that game? Um, he got recruited by the Monks. They asked him uh, during his interview if, they, if he thought he could beat St. Thomas. And he'd never <laughs> heard of him, but he said yes. Um, so, and then over, the, over history, uh, in the 60 meetings against the Tommies, he beat them 43 times and lost 17 times. So okay. uh, we're excited for it. And I appreciate you wearing your, your Johnny Red today just for, you know, to honor Coach. Well, so. I wore it just for you guys. Well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> appreciate that. Now, Allie, I don't know if she's going for the She said it was Vikings purple. I told her it might have been Tommy purple. I was a little nervous. Uh, yes, Vikings purple all yeah. the way. So, A Legacy Unrivaled, the story of John Gillardy. You can buy this at Barnes & Noble. Of course, we have a couple of copies here as well. So, thanks so much, Boz, for coming in. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. So.